Welcome to Queen OBS Algos. I am George and in this video, I'm gonna go over what our XABCD scanner is. I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet. We're just gonna do an introduction to what this scanner is and how to set it up and, and what the patterns are, what, X, what XABCD patterns are. You've probably heard the term harmonics. Um, these are the patterns that were discovered by H.M. Gartley and then popularized by Scott Carney. And to not make this a history lesson, we're just gonna go from there to what our scanner does. Well, our scanner is detecting these formations. It detects up to um, 10 or 11 formations. And once you actually sign up for the scanner, you're going to get a PDF with it. And the PDF refers to these patterns by the CD extension level, right? CD extension or retracement instead of their trademarked or copyrighted names. And this PDF is gonna highlight all the patterns and how to set up targets for them in V2 of um, the XABCD scanner, the targets, the reversal zone are gonna be printed on the chart for you. For now, it's still in V1 and we don't have those yet. Um, what we're looking at here, if you go into trading view and you go into your tools, there's the XABCD pattern tool, right? And that is exactly what our scanner is picking up. Now we see a lot of broken charts, people saying, oh, I see a bullish butterfly or a bullish Gartley, and they're kind of trading it wrong. They're not waiting for the reversal, but they're trading all the way down to the reversal. And that's how you're supposed to trade them. Um, that being said, picking up these formations by hand, or just with your own eyes, your own glasses, it's not an easy task, right? And what our scanner does is it automatically picks these out for you on all asset classes. Actually, any chart you can put on TradingView, you can pick up XABCD patterns on it. You're gonna be able to long really nice swing lows. You're gonna be able to short really nice swing highs, pick up on certain reversal levels. Um, and this is the S&P futures. Um, this is Bitcoin, right? So let me go back to Bitcoin. You're gonna be able to do this on all coins. Um, you name it, you're gonna be able to long and short it, right? So you have a short signal here, a long signal here. Um, a short here, another long here, and, and so forth, right? Um, this works on most time frames. As long as there's a valid formation, the scanner is going to pick it up. And uh, how do we set this up, right? Let me go back to the ES. And we're just going to go ahead and remove all indicators. And what we're going to do, we're going to do the slash, look for indicator, and type in X, A, B, C, D. And it's the only indicator is X, A, B, C, D scanner. And we're going to go ahead and apply it four or five times. Um, and the various settings, here you see a nine, 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 nine. Um, what that's doing, it's looking for that formation length, right? Um, trading view won't, the, the way PineScript works, it doesn't allow us to scan for different length formations with one setting. So we have to do this this way. And that's what makes it a scanner because we're looking for smaller formations and, and larger formations as well. So. I'm gonna keep the first one as nine. I'm gonna switch this second one to 13. And we're gonna do the third one to 23. And um, the fourth one to 36, right? And we found those to be some of the, the most universally best settings. If you're looking for larger patterns, you're going to want um, to make your time frame a little bigger. And I don't want to complicate this chart with too much data right now. This is our intro um, to XABCD. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna remove the uh, 23 and I'm just gonna keep the nine and the 13. Um, and as you can see on my chart, there's a dashed formation and there is a full on formation. So a dashed formation is actually incomplete, right? And the way one would want to trade this, this extension is going to be uh, wait for the PRZ before taking up a short, right? And the one, the, the way one would have traded down here is wait for the PRZ before taking up a long. PRZ is the potential reversal point. Uh, so it's kind of a no trade zone. Once price hits a PRZ, um, formation is gonna be incomplete and it'll be incomplete for the next few bars, but that's gonna be the reversal level that one wants to start trading. Um, going back in our gearbox, right, in your settings, you're gonna have show incomplete and show four point. The four point is going to be uh, the most basic formation, kind of looks like a lightning bolt. All right, let me go ahead and go back out and we're gonna remove the 13. So now here we're seeing a four point starting to complete, right? So you might chop, you might just shoot straight through it 
to the previous PRZ of the larger pivot scan and uh, before we turn back around right so it's gonna be a four point you can go ahead and hide the nine pull back the 13 now we have a deep 0.618 and uh, as you see price gonna go up to this PRZ and potentially turn around over here now is this scanner successful I've published some uh, charts on trading view on my personal account and uh, let's let's see how they played out here we had a, uh, a 0.886 right with a possible move this was t1 and this one played out straight to t1 right we did have a nice wake a head target and then bam we had the continuation so it's not always going to be a full-on reversal we're going to get some moves that stop at t1 some moves that stop at t2 so it's always um it's much better to pay attention on a chart here this is silver we had a 0.08 and uh, that was the formation on the two hour chart i'm also using a different indicator here to validate which is phantom um, if you go back to our indicators, you can learn about Phantom 2. And what happened here is when you click play, within one day, it went straight to our target one. Um, yeah, I'm actually sure this one via calls, and we bought calls during the dip, and then um, Silver filled them up. Here's another example. Um, there was a 0.618 um, on the S&P ES futures. Uh, this was the expected PRZ based on the scan. Uh, let's see what the chart did. Boom, right? Chart went up and it filled our PRZ, turned around right there, came back down, took T1, took T2, and continued the rally. So you're going to be able to catch these choppy moves um, and trade profitably, right? As long as you're trailing your stop and you are um you know paying attention you can't just say oh that was a reversal and it's over you want to you keep scanning you want to keep going to stay active with it um depending on your time frame as well it also works on on all coins right this was raven we had a deep uh, 0.618 and what happened click play chart rallied right took t1 t2 and this would have hit t4 based on our fibs and our uh, pdf that you get with a scan and back to um the es this was actually the, the continuing formation, right? This was the previous one on the hourly. That was the top at 31.57, right? And go ahead and, and drop that because you can't see the price point on my chart. And let's go ahead and do uh, price table. So that was that previous top from um, this publication, right? And what happened is the chart actually made another pattern, turned around to the PRZ, and now it's completing another. So you're going to be able to continuously trade certain assets during certain um, market conditions, uh, back and forth, long, short, long, short, long, short. Uh, if you think this is an indicator for you, go ahead and, and start yourself a trial. There's going to be a link to a trial in, in the uh, video description or on the, on the page you're watching this video at. And uh, for support, Join Discord and I'll see you there. If you have any questions, we'll answer them.